What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're checking out the Malone roof rack system. It's gonna be the steel top, so it's gonna to connect to your raised rails and allow you to take bike racks, cargo carriers, whatever you need up on your roof. Let's check it out. Now the Malone bars come in three different sizes. You're gonna have 50, 58, and 65. The steel top roof bars in combination with the feet are gonna be an easy system to throw up on your roof. Maybe if you only use it once or twice a year, you go on vacation, you wanna put a cargo carrier up here, or a box, that way you can take more of your stuff with your vehicle since you can only have so much space inside. It'd be nice to be able to take that out of there, put it up on top of the roof so you have more space for even more things or just more leg room. Today we have a bike rack up here just to show you how much extra space there would be for another roof box or a smaller cargo carrier, showing you the versatility of these bars. Now these are gonna be the 50 inch bars, so there's not a lot of overhang which is fine on this one because you can't put anything on the outside of the bars. Malone doesn't recommend using any of the overhang. So if you got larger bars because you want to put more gear on there, that is not an option. Now they do have a weight capacity of 165 pounds. So make sure you stay within that limit. Looking at the end cap, each one has a lock core in there so you can lock it up so that no one can get in there and mess with the bolt to loosen the clamp. So I'm gonna remove it to show you this bolt here if you tighten it, it's going to tighten the clamp to the side rails. And if you loosen it, that's how you're going to take the roof rack system off of your roof. How you're going to attach accessories to the square bars is going to, most of them are going to have a clamp like system. So it'll go underneath like this. If you look at the bike rack, you can see the flat plate with the hand knobs is as you tighten those, that tightens it up to the bar and sandwiches the bar in between there, which holds it nice and tight. I talked about how easy they were to install and remove. They really are. You just pretty much put the foot on the bar and set it in place. Make sure you get a measuring tape to make sure you get the right measurements and then follow how I did it. First thing you wanna do is put your bar together. Really easy, you just got the foot pack. You can push down on this portion of the clamp, which is gonna open that up and we'll slide our foot into place. It's gonna catch there. Let's put our end cap, replace that. Let's replace our end cap there. When you're gonna set it on your roof, you have the rubberized clamps here, so if you were to make any contact with the roof, you don't have to worry about scratching it or damaging it. We're gonna aim for the bars on both sides because these are thicker raised rails. You might have to even push down just a little bit to get it to go into place because you don't want this bolt to completely come out. So I'll tighten it back up by hand. Just a little bit, that way we can still slide the bar back and forth. I'm gonna get the other one in place on the other side. There we go. So we're gonna leave this loose so we can adjust the bar from side to side. We get our tape measure out. Looks like we're about three and a half inches on this side. I'm gonna check it on the other side too. We're close to that on this side. I'm gonna push the bar in just a little bit more. All you gotta do is with it loose, just push it over and that should be how you make your adjustment for whatever side you need to. When you set your bars up, you do want them to have a minimum spread of 24 inches. So that's gonna be from center the tower, the center of the tower. We need to move ours back just a little bit. That way it fits the accessories we're gonna throw on there. You just push it into place. It looks like right there is gonna be 24. We're gonna check that on both sides and then we can tighten it down. All right, come back with the tool included, Allen wrench, and then tighten it down. You're gonna try and do that evenly on both sides. Last thing we're gonna do is put our cover in place push it up against there, use the key, make sure it's in the unlock position so it fits in that tab, turn it, and now it's locked up. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped.